of the NDP in New Brunswick. He's also our candidate for the by-election. Yeah. Mr. Dominic Cardi. Meanwhile, a friend of hers, the same class, 
barely getting through. She graduates and gets a job in government just like that because her family is well connected. It's not good enough. Shame. We are going to Around the world, places much poorer, less developed than New Brunswick, have dealt with this problem. Countries rich and poor, they put limits on patronage, and it can be done here. Businesses will be drawn to a province where they know they will succeed or fail based on their merits, not on who they know. Our young people will stay in a province where they know their creativity will be rewarded, regardless of who their father or their mother is. Our public service will be more creative, more efficient, when civil servants know they are led by the most able and qualified, not the best connected. <laughs> so how do we do this change? How do we make this change real? I'll tell you. If I'm elected, I've already written it. I'm going to present the Rossi Charter to end patronage in New Brunswick in the legislature. <laughs> Contractors to the heads of Crown Corporations, it will become an offense for any elected politician to try and influence the hiring process for anyone in government in any way. <laughs> Except for the people working directly for politicians. Except for the ceremonial offices, like the Lieutenant Governor. All government appointments will be made based on merit and without the influence of elected officials. If elected, I will take the lesson of the Charter and I'm going to take it to the Liberals and the Conservatives in Fredericton and I'm going to ask them to support it and make it law. And if I succeed, that's great. As leader of this party, I've done my best to make the New Democrats a party that is in constructive opposition. Politics should be about public service not about party flags and colors. And I have no problem with other parties taking our ideas. But if the Liberals and Conservatives refuse, I will spend the two years before the next general election every single day asking them to explain why they refuse to fix this problem that's holding our province back. <laughs> I'm a fighter and I'm ready to stand for the people of this community and for the people of this province. I'm ready for this job. I've managed large offices with multi-million dollar budgets. I've fought for democracy in dozens of countries around the world. I worked with former President US, US President Jimmy Carter to secure the release of young political prisoners in Bangladesh. Working and advising political parties, leaders and governments from Afghanistan to the south of Sudan. Given me lots of experience, lots of stories, but out of that, a clear understanding of how to get things done. I want to take this approach of sensible solutions to difficult problems to Fredericton. It's time to get to work. It's time for a change. We can make this province better. Door after door. Doorstep after doorstep. Door after door, doorstep after doorstep, I hear the same message. It's time for a change. And we are that change. Yeah. On, June 25th, on June 25th, on election day, we're going to take that change to Fredericton. Because 80% of the problems in this province, they're not arguments between left and right, north or south, rich and poor. They're just questions of common sense, of good government, of good management. It's time for a change. We can do better. It's time for a change. It's time for a confident, strong New Brunswick. And we can make it happen. That confidence, that hope for a better, richer, greener province is what keeps me going. And I will champion this community. I'll champion this province. It's time for a change. It can be better. We're going to end patronage. We're going to change this province. I'm asking for your vote today, but more than that, I ask for your support to join with me in showing there is a better way to run New Brunswick. Yeah. Right?
and merit, and it has a future of leadership with working with the New Democrats to show that New Brunswick can be great again. Let's work together on June 25th. Let's make history. We can make this province better. The work starts tomorrow. Let's get to it today. Thank you for your time here today. Yeah.